Good morning, this is Jeff from the Watkins Tree Farm. How are you? I uh, wish you guys a happy Labor Day and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, it's bright and early here this morning. It has been so stinking hot here lately. Hot and humid. Last few days have been 100 and high humidity. I think today's 98. Uh, the wind's going to die down a little bit today. Yesterday was very, very windy. So I'm out here early trying to get some of the stuff done. Beautiful sunrise. You see that? Beautiful sunrise this morning. So I'm here early and uh, I got a few things on the list to do today. We have uh, three fire pits at the house. You saw me build one of the fire pits. And uh, this one over here is the first fire pit we built uh, when we moved out here. It's just a horse tank on the ground and uh, yeah I've kind of neglected it this summer and just let the weeds grow. So uh, I'm going to get that ready and also set a fire. We have a bunch of, this is the fire pit that uh, when we pick up the yard we throw all the yard stuff in there and then we burn it. So uh, I'll be doing that today and maybe something else will come up. Well, I'm going to take you guys along. And once again, I hope you guys have a great Labor Day. So you see you guys throwing all those uh, limbs uh, in the fire, picking them up and throwing them in the fire. Well this is what the ends look like. So I need to do a little more research. Some sort of insect chews the circumference of the branch and leaves the center. If you can look at the center, that's the uh, what's left of the branch. And then yesterday we had 20 to 25 mile an hour winds all day. and just snaps it right off. 
And so our whole yard is full of these limbs. And the tree is an American elm. Most of you guys saw the uh, chainsaw review video, another limb fell and so I have more to cut down so that's what I'm going to do right now. If you haven't checked that video out, you can hit the link right there above and uh, go check out the review of uh, my chainsaw. So uh, I'm going to get this cut up so I can uh, take it over to the fire on the little stuff and then stack it for the big stuff for the uh, fire pit for the Christmas tree farm. Like I said earlier, it's supposed to be 96, 98 today. Tomorrow's supposed to be 53 with a low of 39, 40, somewhere in there. And it's supposed to rain for the next two or three days. The rain here should pretty much shut off around July and August. We've had maybe a half an inch here or there, maybe just a couple days. But for two months, the, the rain shut off and we're in a mini drought right here. so. Uh, any rain would be welcomed and especially with the Christmas trees. I've been watering a little extra just so uh, they wouldn't get stressed. But um, yeah, so we're looking forward to the weather change. But uh, I'm at it here early this morning to try to knock things out before it gets too hot. I'm looking forward to fall right around the corner. It's cold out here, holy cow. It's uh, I believe 52 degrees right now compared to yesterday almost 100. And uh, it's drizzling obviously. Feels like fall today. So uh, hopefully we get some rain and uh, water these Christmas trees. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. But it was kind of our, uh, our Labor Day weekend and what we did. We also went dove hunting and I didn't get that filmed. Maybe I'll do that in the future. But if you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to follow along what's going on in this Christmas tree farm and everything that we're going through and also projects around here, please subscribe to the channel.
You guys take care. You have a great day. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.